Hey everyone, Sam Fam here. Today, round two between NBA Live 16 versus NBA 2K16. If you haven't seen round one, click the link right here down below. So you might as well sub right now because on launch day for both games, I will have over 100 videos coming for both of the games over time. So sub right now for all the great tips. Now round one was a matchup between shot meter. That's aesthetics. Yes, it was. it's true that EA won, but that's kind of like a perf preference aesthetic pretty not pretty kind of thing but today we're going down to the nitty-gritty we're gonna focus on the basketball aspect and the battle today the topic we're focusing on is pick and roll defense so let's go we'll begin by looking at the two games first so we'll start off with 2k the user here is using the Clippers and he's attacking the Raptors with a pick and roll between Paul and uh, Blake Griffin now let's take a look at EA's uh, pick and roll defense we got here Westbrook running a pick and roll with Search. It got KD a wide open free, so he hits that, so that's great. But now let's actually take a look at these two in detail. So in 2K, you can see that as Blake Griffin steps up to pick off Kyle Lowry, Scola hard hedges Chris Paul to keep him from turning the corner too fast, so that's great. Kyle Lowry goes over the pick, and Blake Griffin rolls hard to the rim. So everything here is okay for now. Of course, the advantage goes to the Clippers because Blake is diving. But the containment from Skola was nice. Lowry was able to make it over the screen and matches Chris Paul again and stop his driving lane. Jonas Valanciunas also did great help defense here. He came down to bump the Roman. At the end, there was a little bit of a mistake where Kyle Lowry, you can see he doesn't really know where he's going. But Skola recovers, challenges the shot. So that's pretty awesome. AI pick and roll defense. That's like a 90, honestly. The Kyle Lowry mistake is, was there, but minimal. So now let's take a look at what EA does. And to nobody's surprise, I'm gonna let you know now, the EA pick and roll defense is terrible. Take a look. Westbrook here shoots the screen for Ibaka, but you can see Ed Davis takes a terrible angle at the pick. He literally runs right into search and did not contain Westbrook from turning the corner. All right. Now the user here makes a terrible mistake. He could have easily turned the corner, but he chooses to pass to KD. Now KD is guarded by Al Farouk Aminu, one of the upper echelon defenders of the NBA. I'm not talking about the best, but Aminu is at least best 25% in terms of perimeter defense. So this is just a pass to KD, a terrible pass by Westbrook. Aminu should be able to shut this down easily. But look at what the EA AI defense does. Aminu for some even run towards Westbrook. You can see here the ball is already, already halfway in the air to KD and Aminu is still running towards Westbrook. Now as KD has made the catch, Aminu here should at least recover. But for more unreasonable logic, he stays with Westbrook and let KD, one of the best three point shooters in the NBA, to take a wide open free. So that EA pick and roll defense and that help side defense makes no sense at all. You can take a look 2K here again and 2K not only does it right or 90% correct, it also shows versatility. DeAndre Jordan here runs the pick and roll with Chris Paul. Jonas Valanciunas does the right thing sagging down, detaining the row. Kyle Lowry once again goes to the pick, goes over the pick very solidly because he is a good defender and the offense is shut down. So needless to say, in round 2, 2K all day and the scariest thing about 2k is you can see it in the clip right here above is that they can do it the, per, the the solid pick and roll defense they can do it in successful possessions look at this two in a row and 2k shuts it right down so to nobody's surprise ea might have some better interactive tool and prettier things but when it comes down to it the gameplay 2K is still way above where EA is at. And for those of you wondering why 2K is so good, look to no one else but their awesome developers and especially Scott OG. He's the one involved with the defensive system and so far for 2K16, it's looking nasty. So, verdict is in. Today's battle, round two, goes to NBA Live 2K, NBA 2K16, not Live 2K16. So the score in Sam Fam's EA versus 2K now is 1-1. It looks tied, but at the end of the day, gameplay is always more important than aesthetics. So the pick and roll defense is excellent. EA still needs a lot of work. 
Alright, so for those of you once again seeing me for the first time, make sure you sub for more comparisons and over 100 tip videos for both 2K16 and EA. Probably more 2K than EA, but I will be doing both. So I'll be the only guy you need for video game basketball tips in the year to come. As always, thanks for coming by. And for those of you who subscribe, you're already in the family, make sure you hit the like button. I make videos for you guys because I like you, so like me back. Alright, I'll see all of you next time. Have a good weekend.